A very good morning. This is Alok Srivastava from Network Nuts, and this time is really a good time. <laughs> Every time is a good time, provided you are working in the right direction and you are uh, putting on genuine efforts. Every time, believe me, friends, is a good time. So, what's in this video? Again, if you can see the folder here I am under ETC puppet manifest so obviously the video is something about a new small trip uh, sorry a tip or a trick on puppet puppet uh, I I hope you all you must be getting our uh, newsletters regularly and I'm stressing on this puppet for last uh, two months I suppose as all the companies here in India now they are demanding beyond RSC skills merely having a RSC is not helping you that much that it, it was doing some one year back in getting you the job so companies are looking for scripting skills or puppet sk uh, skills puppet is actually the way in which the industry will be managing or they had or actually already started managing the servers using puppet and we are really getting a tremendous response on uh, puppet training so uh, these videos actually aims to learn you beyond that courseware so here i am going to give you a very interesting trick or a hack of uh, puppet not exactly the hack but a, but a, uh, a small tip or a trick about the audit feature of of puppet auditing feature of puppet audit in puppet just imagine you are working on the on a puppet master and there are a number of servers where you are config you have configured apache or dns one machine is running the dns other machine is running your ftp and samba and other services because puppet or you are man or managing those services or the servers using puppet that means the machines are really in good number physical administration is not possible and they might be at a remote location so in this case you want to audit for any changes in the configuration files like suppose I'll give you a very simple example uh, we have a very uh, interesting configuration file I I hope all of you knows that uh, say which one which one which one which is the important file say etc says config and uh, your say etc says config network or say etc host or say host.allow any file it's a host.allow file we know that it is being used by the tcp wrappers so etc host.allow is a very important file for me I want to monitor on the remote server that this file attributes the owner permissions or if anything is changed I should be notified right so I can use puppet audit feature to track those changes so I'm just creating a very small manifest say audit host.pp extension should always be pp name can be anything so I just write here file it's a file resource so I say host allow ensure it's a file means the file should be there sorry path will be going to the actual path etc host dot allow and I just need to write a audit that I want to audit on this feature sorry on this file I, I want to say audit for owner change in the ownership or change in the mode using the chmod command so this is what the video is all about very simple thing so I had added this audit means record for any changes in the ownership of this file and for the permissions so when we apply the audit it will record the current values first it will re it will record the current values and if these values were changed then puppet will capture the new values and will update you let me show you here it is so i have a very interesting resource here etc host.allow is a file 
the owner is root and the permissions are 644 right now I apply this manifest pop it apply and say audit host.pp see because of the audit it has recorded the current values it has captured the current values audit owner root uid 0 and audit mode the current values are 644 fair enough now the puppet knows what are the current values of the resource it's a very important file it can be your ssh configuration file or apache configuration file any damn configuration file any important file always enable audit now what will happen if somebody on the remote server has intentionally changed the permissions so chmod it's 644 i give 666 i've got some bad bad intentions so i say host.allow done now it is practically not possible for me to keep a track of each and every file on hundreds of servers but we know puppet agent by default communicate with the master after every half an hour so when the puppet runs again let me run it manually here for you when the puppet runs again look because of the audit it has beautifully explained you previous recorded values were 644 has been changed to 666 now this lovely and a very small but a very interesting feature actually helps you managing the integrity of the file the permissions of the file and if somebody has intentionally tampered with the owner or the permissions the puppet is going to help you out so in this way i can capture the changes whenever the uh, puppet runs again it's a very beautiful feature and i always recommend whenever you are creating some important file or this please enable the audit and if you want to audit everything in case you want to audit everything please feel free to write all that's it means audit everything there so it is solely up to you whether you wish to use audit and then specific attributes or you want to do the audit all but whenever you are creating or managing the file re your file resources in puppet make sure for all the important configuration file auditing should be enabled i hope you got the point it's a very small video but can be very useful when you are deploying puppet and when you're working on uh, puppet in the real life and if you are not learning it's the right time start learning thank you very much god bless take care see you again soon